Everyone down in Leboville liked Christmas a lot, but the Tegan who lived in Leboville did not. The Tegan hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why no one quite knows the reason. It could be that her head just wasn't screwed on right, or it could be perhaps that her uncle and pop fight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been because her diaper was a few sizes too small. But whatever the reason, her diaper or her clothes. Yeah, thanks mom, the white dress and the stupid white bow. I'll show, oh shit, yes, look what I found. Chocolate, now it's time to turn my eye brown. She hated every Lebo, like Ava <laughs> trying to hug. All the Tegan wanted was to eat a towel or rug and they're hanging their stockings, she snarled with a snare. Tomorrow was Christmas? Ugh, it's practically here. She started whining, and then Tegan was really bumming. She must find some way to stop this Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, she knew all the Lebo girls and boys would wake up bright and early, and they'd rush for their toys. Oh, no. The noise. The noise, noise, noise. Help me, please. No, not the noise. That's one thing she hated was the noise. The noise. The noise, noise, noise. Then the Lebos, young and old, would sit down to feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast, feast, feast. They would feast on Lebo pudding and rare Lebo beef. Ugh. Oh. They would feast, 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 feast. And then they'd do something that she would really like least of all. Every Lebo down in Leboville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They would stand hand in hand and the Lebos would start singing. They'd sing, they'd sing, and they'd sing. Ugh. They would sing, 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 sing. And the more that Tegan thought of this whole Lebo sing, the more Tegan thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, this is the second year I've put up with this now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? Then she got an idea, an awful idea. The Tegan got a wonderful, awful idea. I know, I know just what to do. Mom put on my damn shoe. The Tegan laughed in her throat and she made a quick Santa Claus hat and a little coat and she chuckled and clucked what a great tiggy trick with this coat and hat I look just like Saint Nick all I need is a reindeer the Tegan looked around but since reindeer are scarce and there's none to be found Tegan was determined to find something to work but it was hard for her to focus when she saw her brother twerk there's some color to this snow I wonder what it could be I'll do a little taste test, just to check and see. Nope, that's not lemonade. The Tegan said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll have to make one instead. So she called her cat, and then she took some red thread, and tied the big horn on top of her head. Then she loaded some bags with mom and dad's clothes on a ramshackle sleigh, and hitched up Briar Rose. Yes, Tegan couldn't wait until they all leave. Tegan's plan kicks in now since it is Christmas Eve. That's right weirdos, go tell a friend, I am the future and Christmas is coming to an end.